folks, it's Anna Hitha I am going to speak about um, the yearly forecasts uh, today. Um, I'm going to go over some trends for 2019 and um, then I will also give you a general overview of, uh, of your sign. Remember this is a general forecast uh, for each sign and I would advise that you listen to both your moon sign as well as your rising sign. Um, and again, this is according to the sidereal and not the tropical calculation. So please check your sidereal sign for this. So the big question is, uh, as usual, should you see the transit from the ascendant or should you see it from the moon? Uh, now remember, ascendant stands for the intellect. It stands for your personality, your intelligence. Um, so the effects that you experience are going to be visible and can be seen by everyone. Whereas the moon, everything is happening at the mental and uh, the emotional level. Uh, so it will be more hidden, more personal, uh, more internal, um, and sometimes more painful. Uh, so it may not be visible to the world as it can be shielded by you. Now, what your dasha will promise um, is going to take precedence and priority over any of the transits. So, for instance, if you are in the Saturn dasha, uh, then I would place more emphasis on the Saturn uh, transit and um, see how it impacts you um, and, and your life. Um, now, of course, the biggest news this year is the movement of Rahu and Ketu. Uh, Rahu has um, suffered uh, for the past um, three years in, in Cancer and Leo, um, as well as uh, I would say Ketu uh, as well, um, because they were transiting through their enemy signs. Uh, both the Sun and Moon are the node's uh, biggest enemies. And Rahu will finally leave on March the 23rd to go into Gemini, a sign where it does exceptionally well um, and it's very comfortable here. This will bring a relief in um, policies related to immigration, international trade, um, foreign deals, all Rahu related uh, matters. Um, and Gethu, of course, is going into the sign of Sagittarius, which is Jupiter's sign. A really beautiful place for, for Gethu, and it does very well there. Um, of course, we have Saturn here as well um, and in fact uh, we all know that there will be a big Saturn and Ketu conjunction coming up in 2019. Um, the months to really watch for are July, August and September. Um, although I would say uh, keep a watchful eye uh, from the months of um, anywhere from May till, till October um, but the summer months will be the most intense and you will really feel it then. Um, another period to be watchful for this year is uh, the period between June the 2nd and June the 16th, um, as we have a Mars-Rahu conjunction then, which is a very, very close conjunction, um, particularly given the fact that there will also be at the same time the opposition, the exact opposition, in fact, between Mars and Saturn on June the 14th. Most important retrograde this year is that of Saturn from late April till mid-September because this will directly impact the Ketu and Saturn conjunction. Dual signs are going to experience the most dramatic changes this year. Uh, the dual signs, of course, are Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. So if you have your sun, moon, or even your ascendant in any of these signs, then you're going to really feel the impact this year and there will be a lot of changes coming your way. So for Taurus, uh, Taurus, um, the year 2019 is going to be a memorable one for you because there's a lot going on. Um, for a major part of 2019, you should feel pretty good. Uh, Jupiter continues to move through your 7th house, which is a fantastic position for Jupiter. 
uh, up until November, which brings uh, luck and blessings in, in all kinds of relationships. Uh, business partnerships will be blessed, so great time to form alliances of all types. Uh, great time to get married, if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, it's important to get out there and, and, and circulate and network and make new connections with, with this Jupiter transit. Um, the time to be watchful for, however, is when Jupiter is in Ganada from um, it's about sort of mid to late March till early May, as this could bring some unexpected twists and turns in relationships. Uh, so Saturn continues its transit in the eighth house. Uh, keep a close eye on your health, especially in June and July. This is particularly particularly relevant to those who have a Taurus moon. Uh, Saturn being your ninth and tenth lord transiting in your eighth house could bring some unexpected changes in your career life. Uh, this could also bring some complications with your father, uh, so just keep a watchful eye on that. Uh, Ketu joins Saturn in March, as we all know, so this could bring some confusion. Um, Saturn remains in Purvashada all year, which is ruled by Venus, uh, your sign's uh, ruler. And uh, this makes it doubly important to uh, take care of uh, any health or uh, career issues, uh, especially since the conjunction with, with, with Ketu may be disruptive in this regard during the summer months. The period to be mo most watchful for is between May till mid-September, as the conjunction is very close. Uh, so be cautious and avoid big changes in the summer months, um, especially in your profession. Uh, the big news for you and for everyone else is the movement of Rahu and Ketu. And for you, that is happening in your second house. Uh, Rahu moves into your second house in March, uh, giving you an extra source of income. Uh, but also it could bring some adjustments to your family life, so be watchful for that. Uh, Rahu aspects your 6th and your 10th house of career, bringing opportunities for a new job or a new profession. This is a very good uh, position for Rahu uh, in your second, uh, going through your second house. Uh, it feels quite comfortable there. So uh, if you've thought about getting a pet, uh, this is an excellent time to do so. Uh, if you want to uh, settle down, you will have plenty of opportunities coming your way, especially if you are in uh, Jupiter. Um, Dasha or Anthur Dasha at this time because of Jupiter's transit uh, through Scorpio. Um, overall, it's a it's a good year for you. Um, I would say just be watchful for the summer months, especially the case if you are in Saturn or Ketu Dasha. Have a good one, Taurus.